they kind of indicate anything to any degree of the meeting as far as what they're interested in? Oh, um, yeah, I mean, they, you know, they said they like me. They like everything I did. They, uh, you know, they said they had a pretty good feel for what I can do. Um, summer league is just really more about uh, me showing them that uh, the things that they told me to work on and getting better at it and, you know, kind of solidifying myself uh, in their brains as somebody they can look to. That's no pressure for me. I've been going through stuff like this a long time, so yeah, I'm ready for it. It's another opportunity. I love playing, so let's do it. Darius was talking about the relationship that he built with Kobe this season, especially the perception you had of him coming in. Mm -hmm. For you, you know, this side of the country, what was it like this, this season with Kobe? How much you learned from him? I learned so much. Um, you know, being around everybody, not just Kobe, uh, but you know, just watching him and just hearing some of the things he do, watching his preparation. Watch how he deals with people. Watch how he deals with certain situations in the game. It's just uh, seems like I've had like years, years worth of knowledge in this short year. So um, you know, I, I just look at keep trying to you know, learn from him. I mean, right now he's a, he's a teacher, and I'm a student. So I'm just trying to I'm trying to gain as much knowledge as I can from him. Whenever I'm, whenever I ask him something, he's quick to tell me uh, what he does in certain situations. He's always trying to help. He's always trying to help the guys, especially the younger guys that, that haven't been here before. So um, I learned a lot, man, uh, from Ron, uh, Drew, Matt, and everybody. And Ron, I've never seen anybody keep his body in such great shape. Um, you know, the stuff, the stuff he eats. I feel like little kids just watching him eat because I was like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, like, you know, he eat all types of beans and all types of things. So I, mean, I just learned. I learned a lot about everything, not just basketball, but you know, off the court. Um, just being around these guys, it's helped me out a lot. Is there anybody in the locker room who you'd always count on to make you laugh? Uh, Besides us, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, everybody's, you know, you these guys. Are all that serious in there? Yeah, these guys are a little bit, you know, older, so it's like, yep. you know, they take things a little bit more serious. But, you know, the young guys, you know, me and Darius, Devin E. Banks, uh, Christian Ainga, nobody can really understand what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know, that, that's pretty funny to everybody. He speaks five languages. Yeah, hey, but he, yeah. you know, he, yeah. he's been Americanized. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll say some things like, you know, he has the slang down, but he has his own little twist on it, so it's, you know, he keeps everybody laughing. But, uh, you know, everybody, everybody has a pretty good sense of humor. Right time. What was this experience like for you, just in general? You you came into camp not even guaranteed to be part of the team, and then you're here all year. Uh, you know, this, everybody has dreams of being in the NBA, and when you get here, you don't really know. You don't really know that if you get drafted in the second round, you might not make a team. You don't know things like that coming into it. So when you, when you know when, it, when you're going through it, you just gotta gotta take everything one step at a time. Uh, I was at a low point. Like I hated LA. Being here, just because, like, when I first got here, everything was going terrible. And I thought I was about to get cut from the team. So, um, you know, to make the team, to get to play, to uh, be around all these guys and, and learn so much, it's been like a dream, dream come true for me. Uh, you know, I just want to keep it going. Though. I just want to just want to keep getting better. So, next year, uh, during the playoffs, when this time does come around, maybe I can have an impact.